Okay, so it's been about a week since my last video and I wanted to show you some other stuff that I've come across. So this is the daily dice toss. Uh, every day you get a, I think it's five dice, or five die, uh, as I was told in the comments, if it's a plural, uh, to win some resources. So every result that you see represents 100 of that particular resource. So if that were to land on brick, you would get a hundred pieces of brick, which would then translate to one block of brick that you could use for crafting. Um, now, as you can see, I'm valiantly trying to hit the multipliers, uh, but so far, no luck. Now, this is the super, the super die, I guess you'd call it, uh, that has the uh, potential to give you coins. So I want to also go over personal settlements a bit and have a look at some of the buildings that you can put on them. Now, obviously my personal settlement isn't finished by any means, but I've got a couple of buildings on there, so we'll have a look at those uh, once the star roll is completed. Okay, so there you can see the rewards. Quite a lot of rewards for the... Uh, for the personal settlement die rolls. As you can see there's quite a bit of brick coming in there. That's uh, 750. And then you can see the XP uh, 1.6k. Which is which is quite a bit. And of course um, they're done at 6 hour intervals. So let's have a look at the buildings that we have here set up. So we've got a uh, wool storage. I need to be able to read that a bit. Yeah there we go. So. You can just have a read of exactly what they do. I don't need to read those out. Uh, I don't think I'll just end up stuttering over everything. So these are some of the buildings that you can put on your settlement. Now, to initially put a building onto your personal settlement, you will need a piece of land that hasn't been developed yet or a, a tile that hasn't been built on. And you'll need 50 gold to put the... Um, 50 gold to build the actual card once you have it. Now, you can get multiples of a card and you can upgrade them, but the gold cost goes up exponentially. Um, I have one of the things that I've upgraded. I can't remember which one, but uh, it, it's 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 a, it's a big gold sink, essentially. So we'll just have a, a look at what these do. And I'll just shut up while um, I cycle through this. Okay. Alright, so late last night I got a whole lot of stuff in my inbox and it was rewards for being the mayor of a particular settlement. Uh, so when you become the top contributor of a settlement, you become the mayor and you get a reward for being the mayor and it is a quick i believe it's a quick harvest reward yeah and what that does is it gives you i think it gives you a, a two hours off a die roll on the normal settlements so not on your personal settlements but on your normal settlements now initially i thought that those would stack and you could get 20 or so of those and um, and go for lots of rolls on a particular settlement that you'd built up, which is later on, which I try and do in this video. But the cards themselves stay on the settlements for 30 minutes, so you'd need to stay there for quite a while to be able to do that. So you so you get two hours um, every 30 minutes once you use them. Now. You can become a member of the city council, so once you've been mayor for a while, you become a member of the city council, and that essentially entitles you to the same rewards a mayor would get over a specific term. I believe a term is a week. And then that may, and then once that's been completed, uh, you're eligible for um, mayoral, mayoralty, I suppose you'd call it, again. 
So that's interesting, interesting feature. Um, it would be interesting to see if they bring more rewards because getting that same reward all the time would be a bit monotonous. But I, I, I don't know what the, I guess what the plans are going forward. All right, so. This is a little bit of uh, play up at one of the settlements that's close to where I uh, live. Now, my original plan for this was to build it up a lot. Uh, do the die roll. And then use the bonuses, because I had 11 or so at the time. Use the bonuses to be able to get lots of die rolls and get lots of resources however um, that didn't work so this is just some some play around the um, around the normal settlements now the fairgrounds are an interesting card because they they give you two VIP points but they don't they don't have any passive bonus with them so um, I'm not sure whether they're actually that good um, in, in terms of uh, they're good in terms of trying to get VR, stacking VIP points on a particular uh, settlement if you want to try and become the mayor, I guess. But in terms of uh, value out of die rolls, it's not very good. You're much better off going with something that yields some result once an adjacent die has been, been rolled, or adjacent result. So you can see I have quite a bit of brick here, so I, I think I just noticed that there. So... Uh, and I'm low on wool, so we'll jump into the trade soon. Um, and we'll trade some of the brick for some wool so I can make some more. So um, if you're interested in watching some of this gameplay here, um, unnarrated, because uh, there's really not much else for me to say, um, I'll leave the video going for a bit. And um, actually, I, m I might go over some of this stuff or what, what my thought process was maybe... It might be helpful. So again here, what, what I'm trying to do is just trying to build up the sediment so I can get that big old Daro at, uh, at the end. I think I end up upgrading this to like 20 or something, something that's quite high. The highest that I've seen um, in my locale anyway. I'm sure once you get into the cities though, uh, I'm quite far away from, a, from I guess, a, a CBD, but I would assume that the the... The settlements there are quite uh, astronomical. Now these are all common uh, common buildings that we're putting down. I am one common card away from unlocking the uncommon cards. So once I get those uncommon cards, I'll, I'll be sure to update you guys if I think that it's anything that looks like it's worth updating you guys about. Um, I also want to go for a walk in a park and give you guys a look at the... Uh, resources you can get while you're in parks because they have tiles that you can walk over and get resources so we'll cover that probably tomorrow uh, of course if, if, if I'll make the video if you're interested or not then that's uh, your prerogative if you want to watch it or not I suppose so there I am just stacking the VIP points again on the, on those fairgrounds okay all right well I guess I'll just be quiet for a while, um, and see, and just, I guess, wait till the end, and, because I do want to talk about the, the bonus, now, oh, here's the trading screen, cool, the trading screen, so, as you can see, um, can you see that there, yeah, so it's, it's six to one, so every six resources, um, you get one of the, of the particular resource uh, of, of wool. So I traded quite a bit of uh, brick away there, but I got some wool so I can continue to upgrade some of the the buildings that I wanted to upgrade. And I got a new message for hitting level 12, which was quite nice. Now, um, the rewards for leveling up aren't that good. Uh, I believe I believe I got something like 500 RP. Which is what the RP is what you use to unlock uh, settlement cards, the building cards. And I also got like a common um, resource roll, which I mean, there isn't a lot to write home about. Even when I hit level 10, I thought I'd get a, quite a big roll when I hit level 10, but nah, I got a, quite frankly, uh, not, the, not the best. <laughs> 
not the best uh, reward. So that's a bit disappointing. Hopefully they'll be able to look at that in the in the future, um, or maybe they get better as you actually get to a level that's worth sort of I guess writing home about. Because I mean level ten, it's not not the highest obviously. Okay, so here we are at the lofty heights of level. Looks like we're going for 22. So hopefully, uh, within like I'll still be the mayor of this particular settlement. This is the one that's closest to where I live, so uh, I look out, I look after this one quite, um, I guess, stringently. If I see that it's been taken, I usually go out at um, any time of the night <laughs> to um, to take it back. Okay, so now that it's upgraded, I think I should go for the die roll. Dice roll, I'm still confused on the plurality on that. Okay. So when you land on the adjacent tiles that light up, you collect the stuff that's on the well, the stuff that's on the building. Now I've used the boots there. Um, reduces cooldown of sediment to the dice. Oh, hopefully it comes up again. Uh, but you can only use it every half an hour, so you can't stack it. Um, that's the end of this video. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, I'll make some more if you guys are interested in some more information. Um, obviously there'll be more stuff that comes up over the next couple of weeks, so uh, thanks very much for watching.